All right. So Venn diagrams, here we go. Venn diagrams are very, very important in relation to the study of probability. And all a Venn diagram is is just a way to logically understand a given situation and organize logically data that's in front of us. Notice what I said logically. Logic is just the science and study of correct thinking. So right now, I'm just going to make up some data. Well, not make it up. I'm going to create data out of this classroom. So right now, there's 15 of you guys, including me, would be 16. So next to the first one, all the way up on the upper left, is Venn diagram. These circles are going to represent categories. Okay? Uh, right now, we have 16 human beings here. Put 16 total people. Outside the box, 16 total people. I want to show you how a Venn diagram, we call it Venn, a Venn diagram can logically organize the data of this class about two types of categories. It's going to be all of us right here. Let me just make sure we got two, four, six, seven, fifty, sixty. Okay, cool. Ready, Muriel? I'm going to make up two categories, just two. Um, Football's coming. Raider fans. And then and then baseball, since baseball's still in effect, and Dodgers, Dodgers are finally going to win the World Series. Can I talk here, Murillo? Thank you. Thank you. So Raider fans and Dodger fans are going to are going to represent the two circles. So this first circle, go ahead and put R for Raider fans. And the second circle is going to be the domain of Dodger fans. Okay. I'm just making some categories up the top of my head. I saw my Raider helmet here and my Dodger uh, teddy bear over there. Two categories. Now, between these two categories, we're going to summarize this class to see who fits in this category. The first category is this. Look at the first circle will represent every Raider fan in this class. The second circle is every Dodger fan. And notice how the two circles intersect. They overlap. What do you suppose this section means here? Both. So in, right here, put Raider fan and D. Put R and D. I don't know. I'll think about it. Just put R and D, man. OK, thank you. So Raider fan, Dodger fan, and in the middle, R and D. Now, outside here, Outside the two circles are neither R or D, Raider fans or Dodger fans. All right, let's do this. Raise thy hand if thou is a Raider fan. Gallegos gets a free assignment pass. <laughs> All right, so look at so so me and Gallegos. Look what I'm gonna do now. Between me and the Gallegos, we're the only Raider fans in here. Now between me and Gallegos, do you like the Dodgers also or just the Raiders? Are you, okay, so check this out. Look at what I'm gonna do. Look, how I'm gonna break this down. There's two Raider fans in here. One of them is a Raider fan and a Dodger fan. That's me. He's only a Raider fan. I'm not sure if he even likes baseball. I'm not sure what baseball team he likes. Doesn't matter. Look how I'm gonna divvy it up now. This is me. Here's Gallegos right here. No, that, actually, I, that's me. This is Gallegos, my bad. So this is me. Put one. Put one out here for Gallegos. Okay. Now, raise your hand if you're a Dodger fan. Okay. Okay, here we go. Keep them up real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those seven, so those seven Dodger fans in here, those seven Dodger fans. I'm assuming you don't like the Raiders because you didn't raise your hand. Okay, so now put seven right here. Watch. Think of the think of the logic here, Mudia. Watch. All 
All right. Everyone else who did not raise their hand, I'm going to put the number outside the two circles because the, the people who did not raise their hand are not Raider fans or Dodger fans. So that would be, let's see. There's a total of 16 human beings. So we've got 8, 9. So what's 16 minus 9? 7. Uh, yeah. That's 7. So notice what we got here. This is everybody in this classroom right now. Everybody. This represents every human being in here that's neither a Raider fan or a Dodger fan. How many Raider fans in here? There's two. Look at the whole circle of Raider fans. There's two individuals here. Stay with me here, you guys. Stop interrupting here. How many Dodger fans total? Eight. Seven and the one. So you're looking at the full circle for Dodger fans. There's seven plus one. That's a total of eight Dodger fans. This is how Venn diagrams work. It's logically organizing data regarding two categories. Now, the one on the right, let's move to the right here. So, do you want to just mark A and B for the circles? Hit it. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Go ahead. Yeah, this is a new one. This is the one on the right, upper right. I want to give you a stand. Guy goes, put that away, buddy. I got the floor. Thank you, sir. Um, all right, here we go. So what I want you to do here is go ahead and shade this just with, like, horizontal lines. So just the part that's A, that's not the overlap, and put an arrow, A, and put A only. The B part that's not overlap, I'm going to put vertical lines. So this part is B only. And inside the middle, let's crisscross them, both the horizontal and vertical. Put an arrow. That's A and B. Now, when I say A and B here, that means A and B can be any category. I made up Raider fans, Dodger fans. It can be anything. Does not matter. And then out here, that's not the circles. Everything not the circles is not A or B. All right. Here we go. So the bottom two we're going to do tomorrow. I'm going to pass out another sheet of paper really quick. 